Welcome to a video summary of the LG OLED 55 B7V. You can read the full in-depth review via the link in the description or by clicking the card at the top right of the video. The B7 is an Ultra HD 4K TV with a 55 inch flat screen OLED panel. It's technically LG's entry level OLED for 2017 and it retails for £2,999. However, there is nothing entry level about the B7 in terms of its features and it supports every form of high dynamic range, including HDR10, Hybrid Log Gamma, and Dolby Vision. It also has Dolby Atmos processing to improve its sound quality. The B7 has an attractive appearance that uses a minimalist design combined with a curved stand. The build quality is very good, and although the stand can't be swiveled, it does provide solid support. You need a surface at least 740 by 254 millimeters on which to place the B7, although you can also wall mount and there are 300 by 200 visa brackets on the rear for that purpose. There's a 10 mm border around the screen itself and a chrome trim around the outer edge. And the panel is only four millimeters deep at the top, but widens out to 49 millimeters at the bottom where the electronics, speakers, amplification and connections are housed. You'll also find air vents at the top of this wider rear section. The built-in speakers include 2.2 channels and 40 watts of amplification. The audio performance was rather weak, although the Dolby Atmos processing added some presence to the soundstage. The back of the B7 uses a brushed metal finish for the top half and white plastic for the bottom half. All the connections are at the bottom rear left as you face the screen, and here you'll find a combination of sideways and rearwards facing inputs. The sideways inputs are only 100mm from the edge and are composed of two HDMI inputs, USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports, and a CI slot. Facing rearwards, there are two more HDMI inputs, another USB 2.0 port, terrestrial and satellite tuners, an optical digital output, a headphone socket, and an RS-232 connector for serial control. There's also an Ethernet port and built-in Wi-Fi. The B7 comes with the glossy black version of the Magic Remote, which does attract fingerprints, but is very comfortable to hold. It's a motion controller and is well-designed and intuitive to use. As a result, navigating the latest version of WebOS is extremely easy, and this excellent smart platform remains the best, with all the video streaming services you could ever want, including Amazon, Netflix, Now TV, all the UK catch-up services, and Freeview Play. The B7 has a very low input lag of 21 milliseconds in game mode, regardless of whether you're gaming in SDR or HDR, which is great news for gamers. As always, we tested the B7 using our Klein K10A color meter, Meridio Fresco 6G pattern generator, and Kalman calibration software. We tested both the standard and high dynamic range performance against the industry standards, and you can find our recommended picture settings in a separate video. The out-of-the-box accuracy was very good, though the gamma was tracking slightly below our target. The B7 includes two and 20 point white balance controls, so it was easy to calibrate the grayscale and gamma performance to a reference level. The out of the box color performance was also very good, with the color gamut delivering accurate measurements, which is just as well because LG's color management system doesn't really work. Moving on to HDR, and the performance was equally as impressive. We measured the peak brightness at 680 nits on a 10% window, and the B7 tracked the PQEOTF very closely, and the grayscale was excellent. The color gamut measured 72% of Rec 2020, which it tracked quite closely, and it was 99% of DCI P3, which it also tracked extremely well, resulting in a highly accurate HDR performance. In terms of its general performance, the B7 was a fantastic all round TV, with good screen uniformity, deep blacks, and impressive shadow detail. The video processing was also excellent, whilst the motion handling was equally as impressive. And thanks to the excellent grayscale, gamma and colour accuracy, the B7 delivers some lovely high definition images. The HDR performance was also very good, with accurate colours and deep blacks. Although the peak brightness is limited compared to an LCD TV, the B7 is capable of delivering those highlights with greater precision. In all respects, this is an excellent TV that delivered a performance that was identical to LG's more expensive OLEDs. So given the design, features, performance and price, we have no hesitation in awarding the LG 55 B7 an AV Forum's Best Buy badge. If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. You can find more reviews, news, articles and videos like this at avforums.com, Europe's largest community for TVs, home cinema, movies, games, tech and gadgets. 
thanks for watching.